Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a book haul. My husband and I recently went to our local used bookstores and got so much back in store credit. So a lot of these books were purchased with that and then some of them are just books that I got a while ago and forgot to mention. But anyway, jumping into it. The first book I wanna mention is The Poppy War and this is a book that is an Asian inspired fantasy and I recently read a different Asian inspired fantasy called Tale of Shikinoko and wasn't the biggest fan, but I was still really determined to find a really great Asian inspired fantasy book because one, I think it's great when other cultures are represented in fantasy besides just European. Although I'll admit I'm just such a sucker for European inspired fantasy. But secondly, I also just thought that the premise sounded really, really cool. It's about a girl who is trying to basically like prove herself in the society as this awesome fighter, but she's got a lot of things going against her, one being the fact that she's a girl, one being the fact that she's of dark skin. Oh, and it says also that she has to overcome the fact that she's put down because she was raised in poverty, and I love any kind of rags to riches or rags to some kind of awesome position, whether it be academic or political or anything like that. And it was pretty awesome too, because right after I purchased it, everybody started telling me when I said I was disappointed with Tale of Shikinoko that the Poppy War is great. So I was like, ah, oh, yes. Next, sticking with adult fantasy is The Winter of Ice and Iron by Rachel Numier. This is a book that I picked up just kind of on a whim and read the back of and thought it sounded awesome. It follows these two main characters in a land where there's a lot of political intrigue and there's a lot of people kind of trying to gain a lot of power. One of the characters is a princess who is against this particular person who is trying to get a lot of power and the other main character is a person who works for the king that's trying to get a lot of power and he is trying to use this princess from another land and possibly try to get his own claim to the throne type of thing. But the two of these main characters, even though they're sort of enemies because she's against the king and therefore the people that work for him, uh, and he is trying to use her, the two of them end up kind of trying to work together to defeat a common enemy. I think it sounds really cool. I definitely like in stories where you have characters who shouldn't be allies and they kind of have to become allies. I think that's a really cool premise. And also, I have to say, both this book and The Poppy War, how stunning are these covers? I just think this one is just super beautiful. I love the colors. And then this one, oh my gosh, it's just so cool. Speaking of interesting type cover things. I'm gonna go to one that's very, very different in the way it looks, but it kind of works for this particular book. That would be Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. This is a very different in plot also to the other two books. This is a contemporary, YA contemporary book, and it follows this young boy in high school who has a friend named Earl, and he kind of just wants to kind of drift through high school and not really be noticed. But then his mother kind of forces him to befriend this particular young lady who has cancer. And supposedly the book is very, very sad and very touching, but also extremely funny. And I just feel awful saying that, but that's like what it, that's what it says on the book. Sticking with YA contemporaries, the next book would be Geekarella by, who's this by? It's by Ashley Poston and it's about this girl who is just a total geek, total nerd, wants to go to this type of Comic-Con thing and maybe meet some of her favorite actors from this science fiction show she's obsessed with. And then there's also the other character who is supposed to be one of the actors from this show who just feels like a total fake. And the two of them, I'm guessing, are gonna meet and there's gonna be maybe some lovey-dovey feelings. It's definitely not even close to what I usually read. I usually read fantasy and high fantasy and things where people die and there's magic and stuff like that. But recently I read a contemporary book and really liked it. It was a nice breath of fresh air from all the world building and stuff like that that goes on in some of the other books. So I thought this one sounded really cute. Next up is the book Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I've only read one book by Lainey Taylor. It was Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And I thought her writing style was fantastic. I haven't finished that series yet, but I've heard that this book is even better. I don't know that I've come across too many people that don't like this book. And I've been wanting this for quite some time, but I liked the UK cover better than the American cover. And then now they released the paperback and the paperback version is the UK cover, which made me very happy. And I found it at Half Price Books and I was like, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and reward myself for waiting for a really long time and get this. Next up is the book by Stephen R. Lawhead called Hood, and this is supposed to be a Robin Hood story, which I thought sounded super fun. I've never read anything by this author, but at my local used bookstore, 
one of the booksellers at our bookstore, they'll have little things that say like, check this book out and they'll give a little review of it. And they didn't recommend this one specifically, but they recommended a book by this author that happened to have already been sold, so they didn't have it. And I was like, well, that sounds pretty cool though. So I'm gonna head and try this author out. And I grabbed this one because it's Robin Hood. That's awesome. Next is the book Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. I really, really love the original Red Rising trilogy. And I had them all in paperbacks. And then I went to the release party where I got Iron Gold, which is the first book in the new trilogy in the same world. And so of course that was gonna be in hardcover and of course it's the only book by Pierce Brown I own <laughs> that's signed. So I decided that I was gonna trade in my paperbacks, get store credit, and then wait until I found the hardbacks on sale. And I found the third one and now I found the second one and now I'm just waiting to find the first one. The last two books are both young adult fantasy books. The first being The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. This is supposed to be a fairy tale retelling. That's about all I know about it, but I know it exists in the same world as a couple of other fairy tale retellings by the same author, and I thought that sounded kind of fun. And the last one is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, and this is also supposed to, I don't know that it's necessarily a fairy tale retelling, but it's fairy tale-esque. Holly Black wrote the Cruel Prince, which a lot of people are losing their mind about <laughs> recently, and I enjoyed that book. I don't think I absolutely loved it, but I certainly didn't hate it either. I enjoyed it, and so I decided I'd check out some more of Holly Black's writing and see if I like this book too. Anyway, that's it for my book haul. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books, and if you have, what were your thoughts on them? And if you're interested in hearing more about the book that I'm writing, I'll have the link to that in the description bar down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.